Hello, welcome back to Shit Rentals of Melbourne with your host Purple Pingers. I'm here today at Megan's place in Brunswick West. So, when did you move in here? Mm, March 2009. And how many years is that? 14 and a half. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know how much the owner purchased this house for? Uh, probably would have been five figures, I would say. Yeah. Back in then. 55k 1998 I think it was. Megan's more than paid off the entire value of this house which is great. So let's go check out what she's paid off. Because Megan's lease started before the 31st of March 2021, not all of the minimum rental standards will apply which is incredibly unfair considering that uh, this is what the floor looks like. So because Megan's lease started before the 29th of March 2021 and didn't roll over into a periodic le lease before the 29th of March 2021, Megan doesn't get any of the protections under the minimum rental standards, except electricity and gas safety checks. This means that the real estate agency kind of has a get out of jail free card with respect to a lot of things. For example, she doesn't have an energy efficient heater, she, the house is not free from mold um, and a bunch of other stuff. But stay tuned if you want to see a real estate agent just flat out lie with receipts. As you can probably see behind me, there are some significant maintenance issues. Outstanding. <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, Juno, before we continue any further, is there anything you'd like to add? <laughs> Megan spent about 500 bucks on anti-mold products. Um, ever since she started using them, the mold hasn't gotten worse. However, as you can see, it's going really well. As you can see, there's absolutely no extractor fan anywhere in this bathroom. So that means Megan has to shower with the window open, which gets really cold in winter. But also, the camera is at my tit height if I had tits. So I just want you to think about what this entails. Also, any money that Megan spends trying to reduce the amount of mold in this house is not tax deductible. However, if the landlord did it, and really just did their job, it would be tax deductible. So that's really not fair, is it? This is what happens when Megan flushes the toilet. I'm not a plumber, but I'm pretty sure uh, duct tape is not really up to code. Good news is that the leak is from the cistern and it's not the shit water. So I guess you win some, you lose some. Mold as far as the eye can see. So this property is managed by Walsh and Whitelock Brunswick and I reached out to them with quite a few questions including when is the expected completion date for all these repairs. They responded with this. Hi Geordie, I hope this message finds you well. In reference to your recent email, maintenance concerns were raised during our inspection in early September 2023 uh, and then they promptly got onto it. Which is funny because here's a BuzzFeed article about Megan's property that is literally five years old where the issues are in there. So pretty much Walsh and Whitelock are saying, hey, we only knew about these issues in September 2023. That's just an outright lie. This is a quote from the article from five years ago, referring to the real estate agency. They've known about it for some time and they've done nothing. <laughs> oh, she loves a bum scratch. See ya, buddy. Megan also recently went to donate blood and unfortunately was turned away due to an iron deficiency slash low hemoglobin levels. Um, there are numerous links to uh, iron deficiency and low hemoglobin and mold. Um, Megan, before we go, is there anything that you would like to plug to anyone or anything you'd like to say? Uh, of Witch Talkers, uh, on my channel, Wordsmith Witchery, I'll be starting a new series called Occult History. Also, I do want to say, because Megan makes candles, this place smells amazing. It definitely doesn't smell like it should, <laughs> considering all the mold. And they did uh, fix the switchboard, so... Uh, a win is a win. Please submit a review of your rental or your real estate agency to shitrentals.org. Um, it'll just help everyone out and let people know what they're moving into. Also, if you want to see more of these kind of in-person inspection videos, um, please feel free to support me on my Patreon and get way more of my personal life than you want um, or buy some merch. It's all in the link tree, stuff like this. Also, if you're in Victoria, I'm speaking at a Young Workers Centre event on the 26th of October at 6pm at Trades Hall. Um, so if you want to 
come listen and come say hi. Um, I'd really love to meet you. Um, but yeah, just RSVP on their website. Um, just Google Young Workers Centre. Um, and if you're not in Victoria, I hope I can go elsewhere soon and see you. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm doing some other in-person stuff soon. Um, but yeah, if you want me to come check out your place, because uh, it's shit, please email me at purplepingerstm at gmail.com. And thank you for listening.